In this video, we're going to take a look at solving two-step equations that are literal equations or formulas. When solving a literal equation, we remember that it is just like solving a formula or an equation. Normally, with 5 equals 3x minus 7, we would add 7 to both sides to get started, to get rid of the 7 negatives, giving us 12 equals 3x. And then finally, we would get rid of the 3 by dividing both sides by 3, giving us 4 equals x. We can follow the same exact pattern on this equation, y equals mx plus b, to solve for x. We want to get the x alone. This means we need to get rid of everything else on the right side of the equation. First, we get rid of whatever is added or subtracted to the x. Here, we have a positive b, which we can get rid of with a negative b on both sides. y and b are not like terms, so we will simply write y minus b equals m times x. Finally, to get the x alone, we need to get rid of what is in front of it, the m. Since the m is multiplied by the x, we will divide both sides by m, leaving the x behind alone like we are looking for. The equation left is y minus b over m equals x. Notice we are following the same process and pattern that we normally solve with two-step equations. We are just using letters instead of numbers. This pattern can be extended to a much more complicated looking problem. This formula is the formula for the area, the surface area, of a pyramid or a cone. The process to find L, or the slant height of the cone, is much the same. First, we need to isolate the term with the L by getting rid of the pi r squared. We get rid of that pi r squared by balancing through the equal sign and subtracting that term off to the other side. We now have a minus pi r squared equals pi r l. Remember, we are looking for the l. Don't move the l, but get rid of everything else. We need to get rid of the pi and the r that are multiplied by l by dividing both sides by pi r. This leaves just l is equal to a minus pi r squared over pi r for our final answer. Be careful not to divide out the pi's or the r's because of the subtraction in the numerator. Recall, we can only reduce fractions if there is only multiplication and division. With any adding or subtracting in there, we cannot reduce the terms. That is not allowed. Our goal, from the beginning, was to find l, or get the l alone. We have done that. It is equal to a minus pi r squared over pi r.